Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. We're going to pick up right where we left off in the last video with uh, trying to get tax rate to use big decimal and then finishing up tax rate in this video and hopefully getting into uh, the other primitives as well. Uh, just so you all know, I'm recording this on Tuesday, September 7th. Uh, today I think I've put up video number 8. So again, if you leave me comments, uh, I'm recording these ahead of when you send comments in. So uh, I won't be able to respond to them in the videos right away. Okay, so let's get this working. Um, Java does not have great support for building your own types. It doesn't allow you to do operator overloading, so this is a bit clunky. But um, I think we can make it work just by doing that. Now, I've not actually ever used Big Decimal before, so I should probably um, slow down a bit and just look at these and make sure they work the way that I think they do. Wow, okay, so not being a math guy, that description doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> oh man, uh, let's look at that again. Okay, so there's some scale built into Big Decimal. I don't know what that means. Um, but you know what, if, if this works, I think I'm okay with it. That's, that's so cheesy of me. All right, we are losing information when we do that. Um, wow. That's interesting. I'm going to just go ahead and take that risk because what that would mean is that the amount would have to be more than $2 billion. And um, if I have that much money, I'm not going to be using this program to manage it. So it's one of those assumptions you get. I mean, I was making that assumption all along, but now it's explicit. It bothers me a little bit that I'm not documenting it or anywhere. But at the same time, uh, I just I don't really feel sp time, feel like spending time on the video to deal with it. It it doesn't seem important, so I'm going to leave that defect in here, intentionally so, and I'm not going to document it. And um, if anybody ever comes along and puts in more than two billion dollars, uh, it will fail. So uh, <laughs> that may come back and bite me in the future, but I I would be surprised if it does. Okay, so now we've got our simple tax working. I'm going to make this a little more clear. Let's call this simple tax. And we're going to say simple tax is uh, applies tax rate to amount. Just applies tax rate to amount. But the compound tax, which is what's happening when we're in our actual stock market year, compound tax, for lack of a better name, uh, there's probably a domain term for this that would be better than compound tax, maybe. But compound tax um, figures out uh, is the amount of tax that is incurred if you also pay tax on the tax. And that, I believe, we've established already uh, in previous attempts that that's 333, but let's calculate that one more time. Yeah, it's 333. 
So that is going to be, this big decimal stuff is so unreadable. Okay, the formula is amount divided by 1 minus rate uh, minus amount. So we're going to want to return I mentioned that this stuff is unreadable. Blah. Oh, disgusting. That's just terrible. Okay, forget it. This is terrible. This is oh, this is so bad. Um, I don't think I care as much about having exact results as I care about readable code, and this is just so so very nasty. So, um, yeah, wow, it's, <laughs> oh my god. So, um, uh, yes, I'm refactoring with everything broken, that's terrible too, but this is actually pretty simple if I don't deal with big decimal. Maybe some of you out there know to know um, know more about Java than I do, and will chime in in the comments about how there's a much easier way. But oh my God! Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm just astounded. Sometimes the the Java folks, um, I really think that. You know, they, they create these elaborate architectures that allow you to do some great things, but sometimes I, I think that they get lost, completely lost, in making everything possible and nothing easy, and certainly not simple. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not going to spend this video ranting, I apologize, but, oh man, just comparing those formulas. Oh boy. Okay, so now we've got our simple tax rate, our compound tax rate. Let's go ahead. Okay. Now what we haven't done is um, we need to do some assertion, assert on uh, tax rate, uh, need to enforce legal values. I don't want to do that right, normally I would do that right now, but um, I don't have my fail fast code set up properly yet, so I'll come back to that later. I don't really want to spend time in this video on it. I might actually do that off camera. So there we go, there's our tax rate. So now, um, I think we can 
we can get this in. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. Let's uh, let's get this puppy in there. As a temporary thing, as a purely temporary thing, to get this into the code, I'm going to add a rate, a method, and I'm not putting tests around this because I actually intend to delete it. that passes. I didn't write tests around it. The reason I want to do that is because I'm going to change this into a tax rate. But I'm going to do this pretty slowly. Oh, you know what we forgot? Ah, this is important. We forgot to make this a value object. So I'm going to come, I'm going to fix this now. Value object, of course, is an object that is going to pass the equals test, uh, even if we've got different instances of the object, as long as the values inside are the same. So given tax rate. I've done this particular batch of code so many times. I could do it in my sleep. I just put all that in because I've, I've done this test so many times that you kind of need it in there, but um, yeah. And I'm going to, yes, I'm, I'm cheating badly here, but again, this is really straightforward stuff. I don't expect it to go wrong, so I'm, you know what, let's just go ahead and toss the two string thing in here too. Okay, so we expected 33%, but we didn't get it. care about the value of this right now. Okay, we are just about out of time. Let's see if I can get this in real quick. There we go. Okay, thanks everybody. See you next time.